Hello everybody, I'm Bear Skills. Welcome back to Long Dark and welcome back to the channel. So we're on currently on day 130, moving into day 131. We have our black bear hide here geared up, and we have our other one here as well. So we actually need to grab those and make our bear uh bear bedroll. We've been waiting on that for quite a few days now. So we should be able to make that. I think we need cloth for it as well. Let me just grab a few pieces of that and we're gonna head over here and see about crafting it I don't think we have any yeah you know, we don't have any cabin fever risk as of right now so we should be good in that regard I'm not sure how long this is gonna take to make it I don't remember what it said okay so you need five cloth um, 17.5 hours uh, that's not bad we got our knife here let's get to crafting should take about a day and a half to do so we might as well get started, because once we have that, we should have a uh, better grasp on cabin fever risk throughout here in Pleasant Valley. Should be able to get all that done. Yeah, pretty much all of it. So only about six hours left. So we're good in that regard. Um, we need to check our cabin fever risk. Ah, it's not too bad. Let's see what it's like when we wake up in the morning. But for right now, we're going to head back up and get some food, some water. We'll head to bed. And we'll rest for the night. And yeah, we're got definitely going to have to finish that up in the morning. And then I think... Hmm. Uh, be nice to get some deer hides going. That would be really good. Because um, currently jeans are almost better than these ones because they're so tattered and ripped up. Um, these are both good. Uh, we probably don't need to carry this with us, so we're probably so going to leave this here. Think straight. Um, in fact, we're probably just going to leave it here. Like so. Yep, we'll leave that there. And because we're going to be coming back through here because we're going to be heading to Timberwolf after we get done with the other regions and we go to Weak Inlet. Get stuff done there. We're going to head back to finish our round up Timberwolf. So we'll definitely be coming through here again. So anything we leave here is fine. We just got to make sure we take the uh, proper stuff. This is all ruined for the most part. 1%, 0%, stuff like that. But as you guys can see, you can still eat it and no consequences. We do need to make some water. So that's going to be something we got to do here in the next few days. <clears throat> I'm going to get the bare bedroll done, and then we'll probably start doing some of that. We'll go grab the firewood we have outside, and some of the meat too, because we might as well cook while we're making them water. Because we can cook like five steaks, and be boiling a pot of water. We'll grab this book for the fire, and we'll make sure we put this out. Enough water for the night, so we'll drink that, and then we'll let it sleep. So, we should be able to get a nice, uh, probably like, eight hours of sleep, nine hours of sleep, something like that. Sounds like the weather got better outside, which is good, um, but it's still kind of dark. So, we need to pass a bit of time here, not too much, just a little bit, for it to be a bit more bright out. Mm, that's probably good. We'll head downstairs, see if we can work in this condition. If not, we can always... Pass a little bit more time while we're down there. But once we get that finished, uh, cabin fever shouldn't be as much of an issue because we can use that bare bedroll to sleep. And I believe it gives like what? I think it gives like another 10 degrees of warmth, which is really nice. Um, worst case scenario, we could probably sleep an hour at a time in the vehicle outside in the car. And that's not so bad. The nights will be a little longer than usual, a little bit more tedious, but at least we'll make it through and we shouldn't have too much hassle. And that's really valuable to us. So, let's finish up this bare bedroll. And begin crafting. Of course. Oh man, I forgot to take off my lantern. Oh, I'm an idiot. All that fuel gone. Do we have any fuel? No, of course not. 
Mm, something to eat. Actually, this gives 21 degrees of warmth. Wow. Okay. That's really nice. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, I was an idiot and destroyed my fuel. Not gonna be able to carry this load Good thing there's fuel over here. Because if there wasn't, we'd be in some serious trouble. Uh, where's my lantern? We need to refuel. Come on. There you go. I need some water. That's about all right. Our lantern's back to being good. How's our cabin fever risk doing? It's not too bad. And honestly, with how good that bare bedroll is, whew, that's way better. That's twice as good as I thought. So that's really helpful, actually. Um, we have some firewood in here, um, but we're gonna need to go outside and gather the firewood out there. Um, we'll drink some water. I'm not gonna worry about eating right now. Uh, but we do need to step outside and get this done. Weather is not very good out here, but that's okay. Not very good at all. That's nothing we can't handle. Okay, and... Okay, moving very, very slow. That's fine, we can make it back inside. Not too much issue, hopefully, as long as nothing comes charging after us through the fog, we should be okay. Yeah, the only thing I think that would... Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, should have been... Should not have been surprised that a wolf would be coming this quickly. We are three bars of scent, so... Oh no. I gotta go back to the ammo case and I'll forget about it. Come on. There we go. Alright, now we gotta snail our way back to the house. Come on. No way, Mr. Wolf. No way, no way. Ah, well, that should be some more rifle skill we got. We might as well put a couple more rounds in here while we're slowly inching our way to the house. Alright, now we can just snail our way real slow back to the kitchen. And we should be good. Come on. We're almost there. Come on, Will. Slowly get there. Come on. Mm, there we are. Okay. So, cardboard matches and book. They're 100% fire. I love that. I love the books. They make fire starting so much easier. Actually, a couple more fires here. We should actually hit, like, what, level 4 fire starting? I believe it is. So that should be really nice. Um, let's throw all this reclaimed wood in here. There we go. Can actually throw some of these torches in here, too. Mm. Yeah, we'll throw this one in there, too. Why not? Hey, I level four fire starting. Let's take a look at that real quick. Very few can match your skill. Your fires burn faster and for longer. You have wood smoke in your veins. Seventy-five percent, seventy-five percent chance to start fires. Fires last twenty-five percent longer, and we still have the can start fires without tinder from hitting level three. So, pretty good bonuses all around. Um, but for right now, let's drop off the meat here. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to toss water in there. I 
and get all these up there on the thing. And now we're going to eat these two pieces of bear steak we have on us. And we're going to head outside, grab the rest of the meat that we want to cook. And we'll bring it in here while that's cooking. A little bit more time efficient for us. And maybe we'll run into another wolf? I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing it, running into another one. Simply because more skill for the rifle, the more times we run into wolves. And we're actually going to check our rifle skill when we go back inside, but I'm going to step over this hill, see if I can't spy any more wolves, because if I do, I definitely wouldn't mind taking some out. Um, I'm not really seeing any. So I guess he was probably the only one. There's probably some over there. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to grab a few feathers here, though, because it's on the way. That's an arrow right there, basically. Two, actually. And now we can grab the rest of this meat. Feels like a lot of gear. It's because it is a lot of gear, Well, A lot of meat. A bunch of cooked meat outside here. And we still actually have more wood as well. head back in here. There's a deer out there, and you know what we're actually going to do is we're going to go actually hunt him. Um, not necessarily for the meat, but for the hide. Once we get this stuff dropped in here, we're going to check the time on our stuff. Um, so let's drop, and we can just drop it all in a big pile here. It don't really matter. Do-do-do. Seventeen minutes until ready, huh? All this gear is slowing me down. Okay. Okay. Venison. And boom, just like that. So we got forty minutes, which is a pretty decent amount of time. Make a pile over here. Cool. Um, let's check our rifle skill. It's almost half. Um, so let's get this bad boy out and let's head over and drop that deer. And then we'll probably head back, check on the food and water, and then head back again and grab the hide. That's a down wolf there. If we see any wolves over there, we might take them. Uh, if we get the opportunity while food's cooking. Mm, but I definitely want to get this deer. Hopefully he doesn't run. We are going to be able to get quite close to him, which is good, because we can crouch with the rifle. Same now we can with the bow. I just hope that if we hit him in the head, he does drop. And that's the only thing I am somewhat worried about. But we can get rather close to him, which is good. Oh, Mr. Deer, don't move the angle. This is not a good angle for me to shoot. Come on, Mr. Deer, stop moving. There you go, that's better. There we go. Perfect. You know, actually, we have time. Because it takes an hour for them to burn. And it only takes us like 28 minutes to harvest. And I'd say at the most we've been out there for about, about that amount of time. So let's actually just harvest your hide. Do with our hand. Then we'll head back inside. And this will be another way of curing to hopefully repair some of our stuff. Weather's getting bad again. Which is not ideal. I don't see any more wolves, so... I think we've cleared enough of them out for a while. We shouldn't have to worry about them, probably for a couple days. I think that one last one there was the straggler. 
That's fine. Um, we'll check our rifle skill when we get back in the house. I'm going to put it away for now. Uh, but yeah, we're getting rifle skill, which is good. And we're using our ammunition, which we need to do anyway to get some casings. So we can actually craft ammunition when we get there. Okay, so... Probably a blizzard. That's okay. Now that we have the wolf uh, pelt, we are a lot warmer. Now that we, not the wolf pelt, the uh, wolf coat jacket. We're a lot warmer outside, which is quite nice. Ah, perfect. Here's starting to slow me down. Timing was about spot on. Forty-nine minutes. One twenty-six minutes. Two minutes. Okay, let's go throw the meat down here. Uh, I'll just eat that. Might as well, no point in having that down. It'll just be irritating to pick up later. And let's check our rifle skill. Uh, quite a bit of progress for dropping that deer. Um, I mean, not a ton ton, but decent amount. We're almost uh, halfway, I'd say. Almost. Probably another few things, and we will be there. Now, we could read our books. Um, that would get us to level 4 immediately. And this would get us quite a bit closer. But I want to get to level 4 on my own, and then read those two books. Because if that gets me from straight level 4 to level 5, or even really, really close, it's definitely worth keeping your books for later. Okay, we got those minutes, 40 minutes. Cool. Got all these cooked up. These six burner stoves are so nice. So, so nice. And that's all of our food. So, now we need to make some water. Oh, look, we missed some maple syrup back here. Nice. Throw some of that on our steaks. Should taste pretty delicious. But we don't have any bacon. That would be really nice. Let me have that there. Let's grab these. And I'll drop my wolf steaks here. Don't want to drop my water. And we'll drop our cured guts over here. Cool. Oh, and we need to drop our deer hide as well. My bad, forgot to do that. Okay, let's get these cans over here. For a water. Do, do, do. fill these up. Gotta get these going. Don't blow the dry. Alright. all that. Okay. Quite a bit more. We're just going to pound some water right now. So that way we don't have to worry about it again. For the rest of our time here, hopefully at least. How's our cabin fever doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, how much fire we got? Six hours worth. Well dry. Okay, how is this doing? 13 minutes until boiled. Cool. And wait for this. I'm going to drink now so that I don't lose more condition. And fill you with water. Same 
thing here. Boom, boom, and 41 minutes, okay. Don't want to cook, we want to make water. And how much fire we got left? Four hours. How much water is that? Another two gallons. Okay. Not too far to go now. Time for sleep. I will admit that. Okay, got that. Got that, and got that. So, uh, water. Let's get them out of water. All things considered, let's take a piece of bear steak, grab our lantern, and head to bed. Wait for that deer hide to cure up. Um, honestly, we can probably move to Coastal Highway very soon here. Very soon, I'd say. Not too much keeping us here. Uh, at all, really. Um, probably move out in the next couple episodes, actually. So we are still full, so we just need some water, actually, so we can go to sleep. <sighs> Plenty of calories for the night. And should be able to get a nice 11 hours of sleep. Alright. So, how's our cabin fever doing? That's uh, getting up there. It's not too terrible, though. Not too terrible at all. I've been so hungry in my life. Um, so when it comes to what's keeping us here, really there isn't a ton. There's this, which could use a repair, and this. Um, how many days until the deer pelt will be done? Now that's a question right there. How many days until that's done? I don't remember off the top of my head. Five days, huh? Well. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna grab you though. And one of you. And a lot of stuff on us we don't need to take. Because we will be coming back for it. Um, hmm. There is some stuff we do need to grab and take with us. Did we ever read that note? I don't think we did. A note left behind. Bread is about two parts flour to one part water. Add equal parts, salt and rising agent, a small pile about the size of a quarter, yeast if you're lucky, baking soda if you're not. A raw dough should be tacky but not wet after kneading. Heat at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes if the oven works. If you only have a fire, drop the dough in a heavy preheated pan and rotate every 10 minutes until evenly brown and you hear a hollow sound when tapping the crust. Nice. Too bad we can't make any of that now. Um, that was just a piece of clothing we had on us, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, the only thing we got really to worry about is, um, could use some gear, deer skin boots and could use some deer skin pants. Other than that, we're fine. So, um, actually I'm gonna head over here to this cabinet. See what I got in here? I think I had some stuff in here. See what I have. Um, can leave this stuff. We don't need it. Uh, I actually am going to take one of those with me. Ooh, and fishing tackle. A couple of those. I won't take all of them, but a few. Um, how, do we, how are we doing for tools? Need to be able to scroll on my side. Or not. Okay, cool. Um, 
we need to take those. Those. That. And that. Stuff we can leave. We can leave a few flares. Won't need all of those, I don't think. Um, leave those. Do we need to take the bow with us? That's a question. Mm. Honestly, there's no real reason for me to take the bow with me, thinking about it, because we're just trying to get... We're trying to use ammunition. We don't really need the bow. Yeah, we don't need the bow, so I'm going to leave that here, actually. No point in keeping it with us. Um, a couple whetstones could be useful. Um, throw one stone kit in there. Should I keep these there with me? Nah, I'll carry those. Um, let me get rid of these. Okay. I can actually leave most of this stuff here. Um, we'll actually take those. Because they're low condition. Put those there, and those there. Okay, four with us. Probably won't ever need them. And we'll put all but a few. That's for four and four. Uh, we'll take one more. Yeah, should be good there. Clothing. Um, we'll leave that in a pile. Good stuff's fine. Matches. We aren't going to need that many matches with us, and that's a fact. So let's put some of these away. They do eventually add up to being quite heavy. Hmm. 20 fires. Am I going to need that many? Uh, if I take Fire Striker, put one in there. And. We'll find more matches. I know Tongue that. Feels like sandpaper. We have the magnifying glass as well. Um, yeah, with as little as we light fires, I doubt we're going to need to take more than that. Um, so leave that stuff there. We need to drop all of our clothing in a pile. And we should be good to go for the most part. Um, I want five with me. And we can actually put five of these in there. I don't need to carry all that many. Uh, so I think... I think we're good in that regard. Let me drop a pile of clothing here. That we're not carrying with us. Drop all these. I'm going to carry those shoes with me, I think. We don't need some of this stuff. It's weighing us down by quite a lot, actually. Carry these two with us. Do we have any cured leather on us? No, we don't. Is there any in here? No. Okay, where's our cured leather at? I believe that's downstairs on our uh, crafting bench, workbench. That's the word, workbench. Um, that's our moose head cloak. Not worried about that. That stuff can stay. We need to take those, and we need to take this one over here. These are a must have. And. Pry bars. Do we have any on us? We have one. Ah, do we need another? Probably not, no. Probably not. Um, in here, right? Yes. I'll take two with me. Nah, I'll just take one. We need these, and there's something I have. I'm just gonna put these away. Don't need those. Okay, so we're not too weighed down, to be honest. Um, we're actually pretty set in most regards. Oh, wait. Quality I tools. Use this. I'm gonna keep these here. I don't really have a use for them. Aw, I misclicked. Um, we're gonna leave these here. We don't really have a use for them. Um, where we're going. I mean, we might at some point, but not for right now. At this point, I want to move on. Let me just check to make sure. Uh, that's fine. Fine. Uh, fine. 
food. Yeah, we don't need this much on us, that's for sure. Um, so let's eat some stuff. No, I don't want to drop. Darn it. Misclick. I want to eat you. I'm going to keep the syrup. That's a lot of calories. Uh, let's eat some of these. And might as well finish off all we can. Drop them off upstairs. And I think in most regards, we're ready to leave. Because we're going to Coastal. And I know we can get, uh, what's it called? I know we can get more deer hides in Coastal. Because we're going to spend quite a bit of time there. That's why I don't want to spend more time here. Because we can do a lot of fishing over there. And I want to get my fishing level 5 over there. We can do some fishing in Bleak Inlet 2 if need be. Uh, so yeah, let's toss down this meat here. Plenty of water. Let's get a nice big drink. And grab another bottle before we leave. Because that's enough for not quite a night. Should be good there. And I think we're ready to go. No meat. Nothing to attract predators that I'm seeing. So we should be good. Should be all good. Should be set. We grabbed our casings. So I think we can get out of here. Let's check the weather first. The weather could keep us from leaving, of course. It always can. The weather looks good. So, yeah, we are ready to leave. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We are out of time, so we can't exactly continue right this second. Oh, fishing tackle. Nice. Missed that completely. What a nice little find. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. So, if you guys do like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, helps the channel out immensely. You guys know the drill. And subscribing, you know, liking, it is free. So, you know, might as well. And we have the 100 subscriber giveaway for Copy the Long Dark on any platform of the winner's choosing. So, you know, might as well subscribe just for that. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode.